Our next guest is a conservationist who fights the poaching and snaring of American wildlife. She founded the Amara Conservation back in 2001. Right now joining me is Ann Arbor native Lori Bergman. And thank you so much for being with us. Thank you for having me. And drawing attention to a very important cause that maybe a lot of people don't realize and something that I read that if something isn't going to be done soon, you predict that elephants will be extinct in 10 years. Absolutely. Why do you say that? 10% okay. of the populations are being poached every mm. year and it's ex accelerating rapidly right mm. now. You live in Kenya. Yes. You said you've lived there since 2001. I have. What's it like and why do you feel like it's such a critical situation there? Well, it's become worse and worse. Elephants, there were sort of, there were 60,000 elephants in the 60s in the mm -hmm. area where I work. Now there are 10,000. Poaching has always been happening, but it's been accelerating rapidly lately. Uh, the market is there, the market won't stop. But the mm -hmm. way it can be stopped is if the people who live with the elephants are aware of the problem, they'll take care of it. All right, we're looking at some video right now. I imagine video that you took yes. when, you were, when you were there. Yeah, um, that's in Sabo National Park where we work. We work to save this ecosystem. It's about the size of Vermont. Okay, so how do you educate people? And uh, because, that, like you said, the market's there, which means the money's there, and people are, are probably doing it to survive. Exactly, the feeling about the market is that it's going to continue and because the elephants are becoming more endangered they seem to be more eager to get them so they want to get the very last mm -hmm. one right. but if we can stop it at the source that will be the way to save the elephants I have to ask where does your passion come from for this well when I was a child I lived in India and I used to go to the zoo and visit the elephants and I felt really sorry for them mm -hmm. and I made a sort of promise to myself that one day I'd help and then my parents, we moved back to America, but I always kept that dream. Mm -hmm. And then I went to Kenya in 2000 and saw the opportunity. Mm -hmm. And with the help of a lot of great people in Michigan, Amara was born. Do you feel like the work that you're doing by living in Kenya, that you are currently making a difference? Absolutely, I see it every day. I see it every day in the faces of the people we work with. Mm -hmm. They want information, they don't have it. The people are living in very wild places without access to uh, any information and there is no education about environment taught in the schools. Mm -hmm. So it's a wonderful feeling when you see people's eyes light up and they understand and then they want to care for their environment. Right. And what happens and what, what does it mean to the ecosystem when these elephants start to slowly disappear and perhaps one day become extinct? Yeah. Well, the elephants are the keystone species in their environment. They, they can find water in drought that other animals can use and for people they spread seeds with their dung. They mm -hmm. keep the ecosystem intact. Okay. So it will harm, it will harm the ecosystem in, in ways we don't even know Normally. once they're gone. You're showing us the need, you show us the impact, but of course um, you come home to raise some money for your very important cause. What will be going on? Yes, we're going to have an event at the Necto in Ann Arbor. Okay on the 29th of November, 5.30 to 7.30. And what we now, there is some fun that we have some of the information right there on our screen. Uh -huh. It's on Liberty Street, yeah. uh, minimum donation, $20. Mm -hmm. You will be, there'll be some wine, some, some energy, you'll be having a little bit of fun beforehand, yes, right? Yes, we'll have a whole new video to show people. I'll give a talk and get to meet everyone and we'll have a silent auction. It'll be a fun night. Right. And you're from Ann Arbor, so I'm sure it'll be fun for you to go home and see people that you haven't seen or see the area. Absolutely. And, you know, people from the Detroit area, I hope people will come. Absolutely. All yeah, right. Well, thank us. you so much, Lori, and good luck with your mission. Thank you Certainly very much. Certainly an important one. Yeah. And uh, we'll make sure to put that information on the weekend mornings page of myfoxdetroit.com. So if you're interested, check it out. I'm sure they could use a donation. All right. Thank you. Take care.